This video is about video or slideshows. So in this video, I'm going to give examples of using video to showcase a real estate property and using a video slideshow. What are the pros and cons of doing that? And uh, most of the time I would say do both if, if you're considering video because the slideshows that we do, the video slideshows we do are free. There's no extra charge for that. It's part of our, right now, part of our tour package that we offer. We call them tour pages where we host all of the marketing assets on one page and then you can share those marketing assets. Now the video, the actual walkthrough video, that is, we have several different versions of that. We have a basic video and then a marketing video or the kind of the two categories. But there are some times when a video can be very difficult, and I will showcase that. And so here is some example. This is Kenneth Burton with Real Estate Photographer Pro, and we're going to go through when to use video and when not to use video and the pros and cons of videos and slideshows. So this is an example of a video that we just did recently, and the home was well lit, lots of natural light, lots of good lighting. So, and it's a large home, it's a 5,000 square foot home. So it was a uh, easy to do video, but we also did a slideshow for it too, but that, cause that's part of our marketing package and we can do that for you. So I wanted to play this video here. Let's get rid of the, let's see. And I'm going to turn this down off talk over that and not have that interrupting. So you can see the video is a great way to showcase the inside and outside and tell a story. So that's the, um, the positive of a video, but you can see video really, um, it's unforgiving. So if you've got a property that things you may not want to showcase, um, video may not be the best way to do it. But in this home, it, it really works because it has a pool, has a, it has, I think it was five acres had a you know a cleared area for where the home sat and then it had a, a wooded area for walking trails and things like that so it just had everything you would want in a home and then it was set off in a neighborhood off by itself surrounded by trees but you can see you do pick up color color issues they had good lighting but all of the light is yellow so it turns the whites yellow which is just part of real estate that just happens and, you know, if we were doing a Hollywood production, we would bring in lights and light up the property. And this video is blown up, so it's just a little bit in this. Um, it would look much better, I like if you're playing this on your cell phone. So that is some of the, the pros and cons of video. Where I would not use video in a log cabin. This is a log cabin we did. And most log cabins have mixed light. So they, let's go to the interior shots. So they start off with an orange color and then they have different colors. So they, this one has a dark and a light and then it has the color issues coming from the different kinds of light. So doing video in a log cabin is very difficult because it's poor lighting. There's not a lot of lighting and then there's a lot of color issues. So in a log cabin, I would almost always go with just a video slideshow because then your video slideshow will be identical to the photos because we're using the same photos to create the video slideshow and everything looks like the same color, the same editing, and everything's consistent. So let's uh, go to another example. This is a video slideshow of a home we did in Leaper's Fork. And the nice thing about this, they spent a lot of money on uh, drone photos and lots of photos because this property had a lot of personality. Excuse me. But the the great thing about the slideshow and the photos, they're identical because it is the same photos. For, so when someone looks at the photos for the property, you can see they've got, they had 
a lot of things going on, on the inside because the home had ex been expanded and then it had a workshop barn area that had been kind of converted into uh, an entertainment venue. And then it had a huge pool area and it was a huge lot. It's two acres in Leap Leapers Fork. But you can see that the photos here are the photos we use for the slideshow. And what I like about that is that the colors are very consistent because you can edit a photo and it comes out at a very high level. It just, the colors are accurate. And in a video, just doing a walkthrough video, you're gonna pick up natural light. And, the, and if the home cast a lot of different colors, the video camera is going to correct that. Or it's going to try to correct it. So what it ends up doing, the, the video will look different than the photos because of the colorization effect that the camera is trying to apply to the situation. Now, the way you can get around that, if you do a large commercial project, uh, you bring in studio lighting. And if you're doing a video, uh, you know, of a room and you light it up, but normally going to that cost and spending, um, you know, time to bring in, in a lighting crew for a walkthrough video for real estate, is just not practical and not affordable. But if you're wondering how, how could you, you know, how do they do it for a TV commercial or how they do it when they're filming on a set? Well, a lot of times they're actually not even in a, you know, if, if they're in a home, they're bringing in lights and they're using a large home where the crew can set up lights. But a lot of times in a um, commercial setting, they're actually on a set in a studio that looks like a living room, looks like a, looks like a home. It's actually a studio set. But from time to time, uh, and I've worked on those projects where they will hire me to find a location for a TV show or find uh, for a TV commercial, or even there's been a couple of movies filmed in this area, and I, they always want to find a large home so the crew can come in and light that up. And that takes, you know, just to get a few seconds of video, you're spending a whole day to light it up. Okay, let's see. I wanted to show you the slideshow on this one. Go right here, get rid of the commercials, play this. You can see, and the slideshow's got music under it and synced, and it tells a story, and the slideshow's in order. So, um, short answer large homes with good lighting, do a video and a slideshow. On log cabins, do a slideshow only. But with large homes that have a story, I would do video walkthrough and a free video slideshow. And that will give you the best of both worlds. The, one other advantage, and it's a huge advantage, video gets played more on social media. So on your YouTube channel, on your Facebook channel, and if, and if you're even putting it on your Instagram channel, it's going to get boosted more and it's going to get more views. Uh, photos get views, but video and all the social media channels is getting an extra boost, and it's getting easier to play videos. A couple of years ago, because of slow uh, data plans and uh, things were difficult to play in a video, but everyone's on a fast internet, fast cell phone capability, uh, so e it's easier to play videos these days. Hope that helps. There's probably enough information on that. So I want to wrap up this video. My name is Kenneth Purdom with Real Estate Photographer Pro. Our website is Real Estate Photographer Pro. Let us know if we can help. Thank you.